it's unbelievable. This is American for you. You can find everything. These flowers are for you, Belize. I am in Greeley, Colorado, visiting my mom for the third time in the United States. In this video, we are going to learn what it takes to follow the North American dream. So we're going to share with you the sacrifice, the joy, and the success living in another country that is not your own. Too many times we get caught up in moving forward, and we forget to appreciate what we have or where we are. Today, I have my mom alive, and I'm going to enjoy every bit of her as we meet her friends, how they live life in America. And remember, don't be scared, be smart, and keep it unbelievable by appreciating what you have, who you have, because the future can take it all away from you anytime. The Dallas airport is one of the biggest airports in America I have experienced, but it's so easy. You just got to follow the signs where your suitcase is. Then going outside there is three levels, the bottom one is for international flights, then you wait slowly and then here it is the lady I have been waiting for. Hi guys, my name is Juan, welcome to my house. Today we'll be sharing with you guys about Colorado. Remember, don't be scared, be smart and keep it unbelievable. My new home here is in Colorado, I, I'm going to be sharing all the good stuff about Colorado, the Colorado, Colorado can offer you with the unbelievable prizes. And I met Juan five years ago, five years and a half ago when we were taking a road trip from Belize up to Mexico, US, Canada, and we drove back and we met Juan and his family. And one of the things that I love about America is that you can meet many, many cultures here. I'm from um, Colombia, very nice place, uh, very diverse, very, Colorful, let's say, a lot of species of animals, a lot of foods, really good foods. <laughs> I believe you. So no, you've been living here in Greeley for the, for in Colorado for the last, what, six, seven years? Yeah, six, seven years, about. How many Colombians are around? There's a lot or very little? Specifically in this town, we only know one other family. <laughs> are you serious? Yep. Wow, how many Belizeans do you know? None. No Belizeans! <laughs> How is that possible? Belizeans, you gotta come to Colorado. Don't stay just in Miami. <laughs> you go to the superstores and you find... Everything, like everything. What does it mean, everything? Think about it. When we say everything, it's everything. I get overwhelmed when I'm shopping on this big store. Sometimes I don't even know which color to choose. I'm telling you, this is one big problem in America. And sometimes you buy way more than what you need. So you gotta keep yourself accountable because America just suck you in in all this delicious food and f everything. Yes, you know what I'm talking about. I'm so glad we do not have this in Belize because this is very difficult. Especially when you come with Belizean dollars, where two Belizean is one US. This is definitely not for me. There is nothing more depressing than having everything and still feel sad. One thing that I have learned in life, just be content with what I can afford. Juan, sometimes we cannot get limes. If we get limes, you pay one lime, sometimes to 25 cents US. Wow! Yeah. Because in our country, things are seasonable. That's the beauty about living <laughs> in America, that you get limes. You get limes everywhere, whenever you want. What are things that you cannot get from your country here, that America... A lot of things. One prime example is this purse. Hand, hand made by like the natives of Colombia over there. Um, it cost us um, about like, um, probably like $10 US money. Pretty cheap, like considering how. I mean, look at this. <laughs> it's pretty look cool. How beautiful, this is. Look how gorgeous, beautiful purse. You can get a plate of food here from Colombia, yeah. but it's not gonna taste the same. Like, yeah, no, it's not gonna taste the same. Uh, Colombian chocolate, hot chocolate, and chocolate con queso. Sí. Sí, rico. Sí. But the most interesting stuff is cheese with chocolate. Mm -hmm. Take this, okay. and then 
and lo cortas. This is a Colombian tradition. Chocolate with cheese and biscuit. Mm. Yeah, you gotta try it. Unbelievable. Got a really delicious plate of food from Colombia. Fish, kind of like cere. Cere is a delicious plate of food in Belize, but you can tell that Colombia has a similar plate as well. Like all the time when we ever make food, it's it's basically Colombian. <laughs> Colombian in the U.S., guys. It's like bringing the Belizean here and says, I'm not gonna eat rice and beans and chicken because uh, there's Burger King. No, no, Burger King is not the best <laughs> no. food anymore. The Belizean food is... Yes, Belize has some delicious food, one of the most delicious food in the Caribbean. But we're in Greenlee, Colorado. Greenlee is known for the University of the Northern Colorado, one of the best universities in the whole state. It's not a big city, it's just very good size the house prices are way much better here definitely recommend here Colorado the weather is perfect like really perfect different different cultures a lot of stuff it's pretty fun out over here I hope you guys enjoyed our talk remember don't be scared be smart hit that notification bell subscribe follow and keep it unbelievable ciao well, this is my mother and she enjoy every bit of shopping. I think it's very difficult for a woman to live in America when there's a lot of things for ladies. But how she's able to buy all of these things? 100% hard work. You can achieve everything in America if you're willing to do hard work. Hard work doesn't scare her. She's one of those people that got to America with nothing. No, America gives her an opportunity to work hard, to make enough money to afford her shopping habits, her food, her car, especially Greenlee, Colorado. There were jobs everywhere. There's need of workers and Latinos and foreigners are willing to work hard so they do the dirty jobs but then she has enough money to go shopping. How cool is that? I admire this lady. She has a cheerful heart, an enthusiastic spirit, very inspired and innovative and responsible. She started her own business. We went from one business to another to another. We finished cleaning buildings at two o'clock in the morning. Wow, incredible to see this woman working so hard in America. By the way, she's hiring $15 an hour, but to do the work, excellent. I hope you learned something from this video as I visit my mom four days in Greenlee, Colorado, and I visit her friends, people that she loves, and even to the point of meeting one of my first relatives. I did not know that I have primos. Well, I am a Perez and there are Perez's everywhere. Well, if you stay with me for the next one, you're gonna see Windsor, Colorado. And remember, don't be scared, be smart and keep it unbelievable. And I am so grateful to see my mother for the fourth time. Isn't she cool? I'll see you in the next one.